Hello, and welcome back to XCOM 2. I am VoxFox Clips, but you can call me VoxFox. Unfortunately, during the last episode, as I was going through some of the recordings, my microphone was not fully plugged in, so my audio will not be in the last episode, at least the uh, normal one for the game, uh, for like when I was playing the game. I'm probably going to, if I haven't already, but I'm probably going to put my own voiceover over it. Uh, just explaining what I was seeing and thinking going through. But I can at least describe what happened last time. Uh, last time we got the power converter successfully enough, barely, because it was kind of on one tick before it was going to explode, take out the entire block. Uh, we got to do some more base management. And we got to see all of our soldiers, uh, who we have. And for the most part, I'm... I think it's pretty good. We got, like, two randomly generated weirdos that the game produced, but... Eh, for the most part, we got our guys. We got our guys. Uh, but right now we're doing our first guerrilla ops mission. Which, in truth, is our first randomized mission. Because... The, the Grill Ops missions are always randomized. There's no real select ones. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, the, for this one, we're going to be... We're going to make sure that there's a container of some kind that, you know, is going to explode or something. we got to make sure it doesn't. Oh, boy. So, right now we have... Uh, <laughs> a Dong Master Gilligan, a character that I made when I was really tired and made a couple of crap characters as cannon fodder, but who knows, maybe he'll survive decently. Uh, we're gonna have him... Well, let's go, let's just, let's just go over our character characters. We have Dong Master Gilligan, we have uh, Charlie Harris, a character that I just sort of made as a sort of original character. I liked his initial design, I just kept improving upon it. Uh, we have Ellis from Left 4 Dead 2, as our sniper. And then we have Rokes, uh, another random OC character I like the uh, design of. Uh, he's our medic. Uh, Gilligan and Charlie are both uh, rookies, though. So, uh, we have to get the container, which is very far away. Very far away. Uh, I don't want to run, but we may have no choice but to run. Let's think this through carefully. Uh, let's have Gilligan go first. That's affirmative. We'll have him go over here. Uh, we'll have everybody move uh, a little bit forward. Or let's headed there now. Orders confirmed. On the move. There's none. Oh, wait, there is some cover here. Heading to that location. Looks like there's no one really here, so we can move forward a little bit. Okay, no one immediately. Confirmed. Moving out. Yeah, we can't move him much. So we'll go over here. Understood. Moving out. And Ellis will just move over here. Affirmative. Moving out. avenues. I can see a bridge. We are going to have to cross a sort of thing, I think. Uh, ooh, wait, we can get over this weird... I don't know what this is, but it's a platform. We could put Ellis on top of it, which wouldn't be a bad idea. We need to go forward, though, make sure there isn't anyone ahead. Let's go. Get okay. Okay. Not 
not gonna not gonna charge ahead yet. We need him to be somewhere. That's affirmative. Just as backup. Okay, we could move Ellis over here, maybe. In cover. On the move. And there's no aliens. Of everything we can see, there's no aliens so far. That's weird. Yeah, let's have everyone else move forward then. Order's confirmed. On the move. We've got a hostile squad. Well, here. forget I said anything. Okay. I know I saw a grunt in there, but there's a sectoid right now. I I want the rookies to stay together. Okay, we can move Position in. Position confirmed. Uh, let's be safe about this. Move, move, move. Get ropes up there with Ellis. Two rookies in one location, two specialists in the other. Alright, this gives us a good line of sight at least. I think. Yeah. Gilligan here. On my way. Charlie. Moving on target location. Maybe we could move Rokes Closing on down here. Position now. We'll have him be the last shot. That was close. I don't know. Jesus, I'm just a little tired today. I forgot to put them into Overwatch before sniping the alien. If if we if you're ever in like you know sneaky mode, you want to make sure that you're setting up an ambush. And you're not doing the aftermath of the ambush. Next time, I'm gonna have to do that. Yeah, after that, I don't want to move up, really. We're moving up, we're moving Order's up confirmed. here, that's it. Moving out. Yeah, next time we see anything like that, we're going to have to, like, set up some kind of an ambush or something. Moving to position. Let's get Charlie over here. I don't want to move in until we're really sure there's nobody around there. And there's nothing I can do about that, so... Let's move Gilligan here. Good to go! We could probably get him stationed at the top of the ladder. There's a hole there, so that could work. Come get some. Just be safe. Roger that. And Moving to Overwatch. Not safe at all. Let's just move. That's a permanent. here. Mm. 
Let's try to move up here. This should be safe. Menace one five. The clock is ticking. That detonator isn't going to wait. Okay, get to the we get vault it. and disarm it before we run out of time. Let's head for full cover. Confirmed. Still go right there. Okay, let's see. Be pretty safe. Understood. Like this. Moving out. Don't know. Why you had to do that, Gilligan, but alright. Let's move Ellis up. Orders confirmed. On the move. I'm on it. Do it overwatch. Safe here. Moving to designated coordinates. Or not! Advent forces on the ground. Oh no, why? Oh, thank you. What a polite courtesy. Thank you. Good riddance. Alright. Oh, fuck it. Eat grenade, you son of a bitch! Wait, couldn't you just shoot me? No! Well, that at least got rid of his cover. That was some very crappy damage. Ooh. Crit! Come on! At least you hit. They're flanking my position! Oh, no, Rokes! Oh, oh fuck! Troops. We gotta save Rokes! We're almost out of time for that thing. Okay, Gilligan. Moving to designated position. We're gonna move them both forward carefully. Oh, fuck. Ellis, why do you not have a shot? Good copy. Moving on target. He has squad sight. Affirmative, covering now. Fuck. Okay, okay, okay. Don't trust the percentile. I don't trust the percentile. This is just, this is all that we're gonna do. Catch! Safety. Fuck, we gotta disable this thing now. Moving out. Objective here. Menace 1 5, this is Avenger. We have positive confirmation of the target package. Move to acquire. We could get mind control too. Let's see what happens here. Why can we not? The best that we could do is just do that. We have to heal. You'll be all right. We have one turn to do this. 
We'll have one turn to do this. Let's hope that one of them runs forward and we can get him shot. Yes! No! Negative damage. Why? Why would you do this? You yeah, know he's gonna get mind controlled. Now there goes his Overwatch. Can't think. Oh please no! Oh please no! Please no! No 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 no! Oh thank God! There's heavy fire in this zone. Minus one five. You're almost out of time. The detonator. Shut up, Bradford! Fuck! Attempting infiltration. That ain't gonna work. Let's just fucking do this. Oh, come on! All I asked was for 50%. Infiltrating access point. Hack the planet. We've got the goods. Menace one five. Status confirmed. The charges are inactive and the package is secure. Eliminate any remaining hostiles near the AO. All right, let's do this. We'll Roger get an that. item. And probably save a life. All right, that's good. I'm sure the docs will want to see this. I gave you the most beautiful voice in the universe, Gilligan. Don't waste it. Yay! Good riddance. I'm running low on ammo. Now, oh, for the love of God, it's up there. It's fucking up the. It, fuck it. Let's do this. Order's confirmed. Moving Please out. Please do it, Harris. Do it. My man! Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. <laughs> oh my god, no. Jesus. Wow, talk about standing out like a sore thumb! <laughs> Everything's on fire. We almost lost Rooks. <laughs> Our only medic, we almost lost him. Jesus. We must never allow these dissidents to fill our hearts with fear. Their victory today is a minor footnote in history, a small bump. On the path of salvation, the elders have set forth for us. That speaker is going to be very annoying in the future, I know this. Also, Operation Steely Snake. I wonder how these operation names are even generated. Probably still wondering what hit him. Oh, up, Commander. we do not have a medic. Please, one of you. Okay, you're a ranger. Another ranger. Nice. Oh, we did not need this. We don't have a medic. Because he, ha he has to be the medic. Twenty days. Now that we one have some shot, help, we can start clearing out oh. the old equipment and debris from the ship to make room for new facilities. Okay, Commander. Combat against the aliens day in and day out is no easy task, and eventually the stress takes its toll in various oh, no. ways. We'll need to keep an eye on each soldier to manage their traits. Ellis already has PTSD. To clear out these rooms, first we'll need to assign an engineer to the task. 
Once we start getting into the far reaches of the ship, it's going to take more time and manpower to make space for new facilities. Okay. Looks good to me. Just give the word and we'll get started, Commander. Yeah, Habiko was one of those crap characters that the uh, game had generated for me originally. So I just decided to try to assign her to be like either a dark VIP or just a normal VIP. So it looks like she's our uh, go-to engineer. Excavation is underway, Commander, but it's going to take some time to get all that stuff cleared out. Commander, we have a secure transmission coming through. Source unknown. Patching it through to your quarters. Good boy. Let's do this. Hey! Hello, Commander. The council you once knew is no more. Its membership have all sworn loyalty to the Advent Administration. With one exception. It is good to see you again. Good to see you In too. the day since your capture, I have done all I can to aid the resistance from the inside. It was these resistance operatives that provided the intel leading to your recent extraction. As of now, resistance forces are currently somewhat disorganized. If we are to defeat Advent and their alien masters, you must change this before it is too late. What you are seeing are classified reports of missing civilians from across the world. Their numbers are growing. We suspect they have been taken to a nearby Advent black site, though its exact location remains unknown. Time is short, Commander. We need you to take charge of resistance operations throughout the world. Establish contact with the local cells and bring them into the fold. Find this black site and shut it down. Save our world. The clock is ticking. Good luck, Commander. Talk to you later, Councilman. Looks like we better get started, Commander. I'll be on the bridge when you're ready. Okay. The Councilman has tracked the alien black site to this region. Unfortunately, we don't have its exact coordinates yet. If we're going to have any chance of finding this facility, we'll need to make contact with the local resistance cell nearby. Tygen has a theory about how we might reach out to them without getting the alien's attention, but we'll need to give him time to conduct his research. We shouldn't wait too long on that, Commander. We have to start making contact with other regions soon if we're going to build a global resistance and take on Advent. New objective added. Okay, then. Looks like you won't have time for that just yet, though. Remote reconnaissance may have found something not far from our current position. Okay, Avenger, we need supplies. New course. Commander, while we're waiting for new missions or the completion of our research, we can pass time by scanning at sites like this one. On your order, we'll start our scans of the surrounding area. Let's do it. Please do not get interrupted. I do not think I could have predicted this outcome, though it is intriguing. Right, let's see. Okay, now we can invest in plated armor and a nanoscale vest. Commander, the science team has grown particularly oh. interested in this field of research. So much so that their inspiration could lead to vast improvements in our research efficiency. However, we must act fast. Despite their brilliance, they are a fickle group. Okay, let's try this. Let's hope it doesn't take too to long. Begin, Commander. In the cold. Got the crap scared out of me. I was going to say in the cold reaches of Russia. This is more important. Guerrilla Tactics School is important. It'll give us extra squad stuff, and it'll make sure that we can teach rookies to become certain classes, rather than it just being a random roll of the die. 
We'll start work on the new facility right away, Commander. I'll bad. send word when it's up and running. Seven days. Strategic resource located. Ooh, that does not look good. Mm-hmm. Although Advent constructs regular... Uh, well, did not read that word correctly. Let's restart that. <clears throat> Although Advent conducts regular patrols throughout the region, pockets of resistance in the area remain. We reached out to the local resistance sources, and they pointed out several buildings nearby that they've been stashing and that they've been stashing contraband in. They offered up what they could spare. Fifty-five supplies. We got some money. Ooh, Avengers scientist. New we need a scientist, Ben. John. What? The skirmishers are Advent. Advent is the enemy. The enemy is food. All right, Try you. Try not to bring that up when we meet, Volk. You? Take their side? After all we've seen these years? Look, I'm not exactly having drinks with them, but they did hold up their end of the bargain. What about you? Wait and see. Volk out. Actually, okay. they might show up. Commander, that was Konstantin Volokov, Volk to his friends. He and his Reapers are a big part of the reason why you're standing here today. Volk may be a little rough around the edges, but he's the real deal. Heads one of three resistance groups operating independently from us that we consider a legitimate threat to Advent. Together, they'd make one hell of a fighting force. Too bad they hate each other. Still, we've made some unlikely progress. Volk's Reapers may have found you, but they weren't acting alone. They were tipped off by a group of Advent defectors known as the Skirmishers. No one's big on working with these guys, knowing where they came from. But you wouldn't be here without their help. Both the Reapers and the Skirmishers have agreed to suspend hostilities provided you serve as the go-between. Trust doesn't come easy between these two, so we're heading for a nice, quiet spot on neutral ground. Even so, let's not take any chances. Intel on this area is weak, and we're picking up strange chatter on comms. Not to mention we're ending a decade-long blood feud today. I'd advise our soldiers to be fully prepared before we deploy on this one, Commander. Good luck. Since we're all friends now, maybe you could lend my people a hand in dealing with a problem of ours. Not sure how long our contacts are going to wait for us, Commander. So I'd recommend we proceed as soon as possible. All available soldiers are standing by to deploy. <laughs> Scientist! <laughs> if we win, we get Saxton Hell! <laughs> I know I had him assigned as a VIP, but I also had him as a soldier. I was hoping we'd get him. <laughs> Having a Sexton Hale being a, a man of science, a man, a man of the brain, is kind of surprising to me, not gonna lie. Each faction has agreed to allow a two person oh squad to escort them to the rendezvous point. Hopefully, that should be enough to keep them from killing each other. We've got a temporary ceasefire in place for the duration of the meet, but still, that doesn't mean we shouldn't be ready for anything. That's gonna be. I mean, these two, these two were real power players, so having them work together will be a good idea. Oh, shit. Let's see. I want to make sure the utility items are available, because there's... I know this mission. Explosives are not a good idea, ever. Making sure that each of us has like a med kit or something would be extremely important. Okay. 
And then there's... <laughs> Uh, I made this man the most nationally confusing character in the universe. <laughs> and we also have Sniper. He, he, I want him to be an actual sniper. There has to be someone else. We don't have much of a choice. We have to bring somebody. He's also gonna carry a med pack. We do not have money for med packs. Uh, can we go to like build? Yeah, we can build something. Need another med kit. Uh, Can't spend too much of our money. We need to make sure he survives. This mission is really gonna test us. I do want to give you a little bit of a different outfit. Uh, I think maybe we can find something better than whatever shirt you got there. like the firefly we know. Kind of. I feel like I could change his uh, shirt a little bit. Firefly. Uh, let's see, what do we have <laughs> with you? I uh, give you the good old resistance armor. I mean, you already look like a like an unsung hero already, man. So we should see if we can give him something that looks more epic. Um, by the way, uh, this gentleman's name is Lopez McCready Weisung. He is from Israel. <laughs> he speaks German. <laughs> Literally, he speaks German. After doing a war tour through Greenland, McCready settled down in Australia for a while. <laughs> he thought he found XCOM in Brazil, but he found its real, lo real location in India. Who is this badass? <laughs> This is, this is it. This is gonna be it. Let's hope this goes okay. I don't like him being tired, but we don't have a choice. We don't, do we? Fuck it, we don't have a choice. this mission next time in the next episode I pray that we survive somehow I, I pray we survive somehow oh boy 
best of luck, and thank you all for watching.